The richest Powerball winner in U.S. history has splashed out on a huge, $47 million mansion in Los Angeles, as the latest in a string of eye-watering property purchases. Edwin Castro, 31, scooped up $2.04 billion in a California lottery last year and became an overnight billionaire, adding $997.6 million to his account after coming forward to collect the lump sum payment. He has since invested in real estate, buying two multi-million dollar mansions in California in just one month, a $25.5 million estate in the Hollywood Hills, shortly followed by a $4 million mansion with views of the San Gabriel Mountains. Now, Castro has splurged on his most expensive property yet, adding a $47 million mansion in Bel Air to the mix. The new home, set on a 4,700-square-meter block, has seven bedrooms and eleven bathrooms. It also boasts almost unimaginable luxuries including DJ turntables that rise up from the ground, a champagne tasting room, a wine cellar, a suspended glass walkway, a theater, and an infinity pool overlooking LA. But financial planners have, classing the three homes, as well as a vintage Porsche 911 he's been seen driving to and from the bank, as terrible purchases. Financial advisors typically recommend that winners collect their large lottery payouts through annual payments, rather than the lump sum Castro sprung for. Financial advisors also recommend that lottery winners or anyone else coming into a large amount of wealth consult with a financial planner, tax lawyer, or other expert to create a plan, according to Fortune. Don't make any visible life changes. Don't quit your job, don't go out and buy a Ferrari. Don't buy a mansion, Emily Irwin, Managing Director of Advice and Planning at Wells Fargo's Investing and Wealth Management Division, told the publication. Maybe you have student loans you want to pay off, that makes sense. But try to avoid that mega-purchase. Even the average Joe has opinions about Castro spending. The comment section on an Instagram post about Castro's new mansion was filled with people sharing their five cents worth. He's gonna go broke ASAP, one person seethed. This guy will be broke in less than five years, another concurred. As a reminder, though the home is clearly extravagant, it only cost 2.5% of Castro's total lottery winnings. Other commenters had a friendlier response to the news. Heck yeah enjoy your life bro, one fan cheered. Bro that's fire. Just imagine he could grab a couple properties around the city and multiply that bread, noted another.